just as I am. Isaiah 1, verse 18 tells us, Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. For your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Just as I am, just as I am, but that won't flee, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Charlotte Elliott wrote Just As I Am in 1836. Miss Charlotte Elliott was visiting some friends in West End of London, and there met the eminent minister, Caesar Milan. While seated at supper, the minister said he hoped that she was a Christian. She took offense at this and replied that she would rather not discuss that question. Dr. Malan said that he was sorry and uh, if he had offended her, that he always liked to speak a word for his master, and that he had hoped that the young lady would someday come become a worker for Christ. When they met again at the home of a mutual friend three weeks later, Miss Elliot told the minister that ever since he had spoken to her, she had been trying to find her savior, and that she now wished him to tell her how to come to Christ. Just come to him as you are, Dr. Milan said. This she did and went away rejoicing. Shortly afterwards, she wrote this hymn. Elia became an invalid around age 30 and remained so for the rest of her life. About her physical condition, Elia wrote, My Heavenly Father knows, and He alone, what it is, day after day and hour after hour, to fight against bodily feelings of almost overpowering weakness and languor and exhaustion, to resolve, as He enables me to do, not to yield to the slothfulness, the depression, the irritability, such as the body causes me to long to indulge, but to rise every morning determined on taking this for my motto. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross daily and follow me. About her and her brother said, In the course of a long ministry, I hope I have been permitted to see some of the fruit of my labor. But I feel that far more has been done by a single hymn of my sisters.